Hello everyone, and welcome to another video from our channel, Immortal News. In this video, we will be bringing you a list of famous celebrities who have passed away today, June 16th, and in the last few days. Additionally, we have some tributes planned for the second part of the video, so please stay tuned. Before we proceed, we kindly ask you to show your love and support by giving this video a like. Number 1. Brett Hadley, an unforgettable fixture in television drama. Brett Hadley, a beloved actor best known for his role as police detective Carl Williams on the famed soap opera The Young and the Restless, has passed away on June 15, 2023, at the age of 92. He held the hearts of viewers with his robust portrayal of Detective Williams from 1980 to 1990, and again in 1998 and 1999, appearing in a notable 216 episodes. His character Carl Williams was a key figure in the drama, being the father of another longtime character Paul Williams, a private investigator convincingly played by Doug Davidson. This father-son dynamic added a touch of familial warmth to the series' high-stakes narrative. Beyond his outstanding work in The Young and the Restless, Hadley's acting prowess extended to other well-known TV shows, including Room 222, The FBI, The Waltons, Marcus Welby, Maryland, The Incredible Hulk, and Beauty and the Beast. His reach in the industry wasn't just confined to the small screen, as he also graced the big screen with roles in films like The Mad Bomber, Funny Lady, and Made to Order, among others. Hadley's career in television and film spanned several decades, showcasing a range of acting skills that endeared him to multiple generations of audiences. His legacy is firmly cemented within the annals of TV history, with a career punctuated by unforgettable roles and an unwavering dedication to his craft. His influence on the drama genre, especially in the world of soap operas, is immeasurable, and he leaves behind a legacy that will continue to inspire aspiring actors for generations to come. Tributes to Brett Hadley. Number 2. Dan Lardner a reverberating voice in indie rock. Dan Lardner, acclaimed singer and guitarist of the indie rock band QTY, has tragically passed away. Details surrounding his death, which was confirmed on June 15, 2023, have not yet been disclosed. Lardner, together with Alex Nemitz guitar vocals, Peter Bauman bass, and Alan Uke drums, established QTY in 2014. The New York group was quickly signed to Dirty Hit Records, releasing their self-titled debut album in 2017. The production saw a prestigious collaboration with Bernard Butler, a former member of Suede. This album established QTY as one of the most exciting new bands out of New York, as described by NME in 2017, who then featured them on the NME 100 list in 2018. The band's sound, filled with guitar pop catchiness, was a notable contribution to the rich tapestry of New York's musical landscape. Lardner's songwriting and relatable lyrics, together with the band's unique sound, have had an indelible impact on the world of indie rock. Despite his admiration for musicians like Bowie, Lardner had shared that he wanted to be recognized for his lyrical prowess and successfully did so. His close relationship with Evan Dando, frontman of the Lemonheads, highlights a camaraderie in the music industry that transcends professional boundaries. His recent guest of honor role during the Psychedelic Furs US tour shows the respect and love his peers held for him. Dan Lardner's untimely departure is a significant loss to the music industry. His vibrant spirit, musical talents, and passion for authentic lyrics will continue to resonate with fans and fellow musicians alike. His desired second album remains an unfinished symphony, a poignant reminder of an artist taken too soon. Tributes to Dan Lardner. Number 3. Gordon McQueen, a towering figure in football with a heart of gold. Gordon McQueen, the legendary Scottish footballer known for his imposing presence and heartfelt contributions, passed away at the age of 70 after a prolonged battle with dementia on June 15th. His career was studded with achievements, 
and a character that inspired many. McQueen began his illustrious career with St. Mirren and swiftly rose to prominence as a central defender in the Leeds team of the 1970s. He was pivotal in Leeds' English title triumph in 1973-74. In 1978, he made a defining move to Manchester United. Standing at 6 foot 3 in with blonde hair, McQueen was an imposing figure on the field and one of the finest centre halves of his era. He was capped 30 times for Scotland and was part of Manchester United's FA Cup winning squad in 1983. Unfortunately, McQueen faced health challenges later in life, including cancer and dementia. His family actively campaigned with the charity Head for Change, stressing the importance of awareness about the link between heading footballs and dementia. McQueen leaves behind his wife Yvonne, three children, and three grandchildren. His family statement beautifully encapsulates his life. The ultimate entertainer, the heart and soul of every dressing room, the most fun dad, husband, and grandfather we could ever have wished for. Tributes to Gordon McQueen. Number 4. Sir Ben Helfgott, a beacon of resilience, athletic triumph, and Holocaust education. Sir Ben Helfgott, a Holocaust survivor who transcended the depths of human suffering to become an Olympic athlete and a tireless advocate for Holocaust education, passed away at the age of 93 on June 16th. Helfgott's early life was marked by the devastation of the Holocaust, where he endured the loss of his family and the horrors of Nazi concentration camps. After being liberated at the age of 15, Sir Ben made his way to Britain, where he rebuilt his life. A natural athlete, he took up weightlifting, astonishing those around him with his strength. He went on to represent Britain at the Olympic Games in 1956 and 1960, winning a bronze medal at the Commonwealth Games in 1958. These athletic achievements were extraordinary, considering the physical toll the Holocaust had taken on him. Helfgott's legacy, however, is not only in his athletic prowess, but in his unyielding commitment to Holocaust education. Knighted in 2018, he was instrumental in bringing awareness to the genocide of the Jewish people during World War II. His life is a testament to the resilience of the human spirit and the ability to forge meaning and purpose in the aftermath of tragedy. His work in Holocaust education has left an indelible mark ensuring that future generations remember and learn from this dark period in history. Tributes to Ben Helfgott. Number 5. Reggie Moore, an iconic figure in Angolan basketball and symbol of commitment. Reggie Moore, an influential figure in Angolan basketball, tragically passed away in Luanda on June 12 at the age of 42. Moore made the remarkable decision to acquire Angolan citizenship in 2013, having been enamored with the country since settling there in 2009. Moore's impact on Angolan basketball was immense. A formidable three-point shooter, he was instrumental in leading the national team to victory in the 2013 FIBA AfroBasket Championship. His prowess on the court also extended to club basketball, where he played for renowned teams such as Primero de Agosto, Petro de Luanda, Recreativo do Libolo, and Interclube. Moore was part of the Petro de Luanda team that clinched the 2015 FIBA Africa Champions Cup and contributed significantly to Angola's title triumph in the 2015 African Games in Brazzaville. Beyond his sporting achievements, Reggie Moore was celebrated for his character. He embodied respect determination and sacrifice, as emphasized by the Angolan Basketball Federation's tribute. He cherished his Angolan citizenship and considered the nation his home, forging deep ties with the community. As tributes pour in from across the globe, Reggie Moore leaves behind a lasting legacy, marked by his incredible talent, sportsmanship, and unwavering dedication to his adopted country. Tributes to Reggie Moore.
Number 6. Sadao Nakajima A maestro of Yakuza cinema and prolific storyteller Sadao Nakajima, a legendary Japanese film director celebrated for his Yakuza-themed films, passed away due to pneumonia on June 11, at the age of 88. Nakajima began his illustrious career at Toei Company in 1959, where he honed his skills under mentorship from Tadashi Imai, among others. He made his directorial debut in 1964 with Kunoichi Ninpo. His breakthrough came in 1966 when he received the Director's Guild of Japan's Rookie Director Award for his Yakuza film 893 Gorentai, after which he ventured into independent filmmaking. Sadao Nakajima's legacy is marked by his versatility and storytelling prowess. Not only did he excel in Yakuza-themed movies like Gokudo no Onatachi and Nihon no Don, but he also exhibited great talent in period dramas and literature-based films such as Kogarashi Manjiro and Joe no Mai. Besides directing, Nakajima was a gifted screenwriter, having penned scripts for films like Ningen Gekijo and Yoshiwara Enjo. His contribution to Japanese cinema spans various genres and periods, and his impact as a storyteller and filmmaker is undeniable. He leaves behind cinematic masterpieces and storytelling acumen, and this will continue to inspire generations to come. Tributes to Sadao Nakajima Number 7. Sir James Hardy, a titan of sailing and icon in the wine industry. Sir James Hardy, a renowned yachtsman and figurehead in the wine industry, passed away at the age of 90 on June 15. Sir James Hardy, born into the Hardy family, which was famous for its wine company, Sir James joined the family business in 1953. Nevertheless, his true passion was sailing. Known as Gentleman Jim, Sir James's early career was marked by his participation as an Olympic sailor, but his most distinguished accomplishment came in 1983 when he was a part of the first team that wrested the America's Cup from the United States, serving as backup skipper for Australia too. This victory was the pinnacle of his career, a dream he had pursued through three previous attempts. In recognition of his service to yachting, he was knighted in 1981. His leadership in the family wine business, Hardy's, was instrumental in its growth. The company was eventually taken over in 2003 and became a part of the accolade stable of wines. He was a figure of inspiration and a hero to many within the sailing community and beyond. South Australian Premier Peter Malinowskis acknowledged his immense contributions to the state and nation through his philanthropy, leadership in the wine industry, and yachting. He will be remembered for his incredible contributions both on the water and within the Australian wine community. Tributes to Sir James Hardy Number 8. Donald Triplett, a pioneering figure in autism. Awareness and Acceptance Donald Triplett, the first person to be diagnosed with autism, passed away in his hometown of Forest on June 15 at the age of 89. Triplett's developmental delays as a child led him to be examined by child psychiatrist Dr. Leo Kanner at Johns Hopkins Hospital. This examination set in motion Kanner's research into what would later be known as autism. Triplett, referred to as Case 1 by Kanner in his landmark 1943 article, Autistic Disturbances of Effective Contact, was instrumental in the initial understanding of the condition. Triplett's life was a testament to resilience and determination. Despite early institutionalization, he achieved remarkable personal successes. He graduated from high school and earned a bachelor's degree in French from Millsaps College in Jackson, Mississippi. He then worked at his family's bank, the Bank of Forest, and even learned to drive, allowing him to travel extensively across the United States and internationally. More than just Case One, Donald Triplett was a symbol of hope and possibility for countless individuals and families touched by autism. His life demonstrated that with understanding, support, and perseverance, those on the autism spectrum can lead fulfilling lives. Tributes to Donald Triplett.
Number 9. Warren McGraw, a lifelong champion for the working class and advocate for justice justice. Warren McGraw, former West Virginia Supreme Court, passed away at the age of 84 on June 14th. McGraw intimately understood the struggles faced by mining families and dedicated his life to fighting for miners and their communities. He earned a bachelor's degree from Morris Harvey College and a law degree from Wake Forest University. His career saw him serving five terms in the legislature as a Democrat, including a notable tenure as Senate President. His legislative efforts included sponsoring the coal severance tax in the 1970s, which he believed to be one of the reasons for corporate interests targeting him in later years. In 1998, McGraw was elected to the West Virginia Supreme Court to fill an unexpired six-year term. Despite losing his bid for a full 12-year term in 2004, in a highly contested election, his unwavering support for the working man was resolute. Following his tenure on the Supreme Court, he was elected as a circuit judge in Wyoming County in 2008 and was re-elected in 2016. He retired in 2021 due to physical impairments from Parkinson's disease. Warren McGraw's commitment to justice and tireless advocacy for the underprivileged will long be remembered as a testament to his character and service. Tributes to Warren McGraw. Number 10. Henry Petrosky, a maestro of engineering and literature. Henry Petrosky, an eminent scholar and professor who wove engineering, history, and literature into a distinguished career, passed away on June 14th at the age of 81. Petrosky's inquisitiveness about the origins of structures led him to obtain a bachelor's degree in mechanical engineering from Manhattan College and later master's and doctoral degrees from the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign. His flair for writing emerged early, penning poetry and essays, ultimately combining this passion with his technical prowess. Petrosky's contributions were groundbreaking. He became a professor at Duke University in 1980, fostering a connection between liberal arts and engineering. He authored 20 books that bridged engineering with everyday objects, such as pencils and bridges, and asserted that form follows failure. Inventors and engineers improve through understanding failures. His lucid communication in explaining engineering concepts made him an endearing figure. Among his extensive accomplishments, Petrosky was appointed as a member of the U.S. Nuclear Waste Technical Review Board, and he held memberships and fellowships in various engineering societies. He was honored with numerous awards, including the Ralph Coates Rowe Medal and the Civil Engineering History and Heritage Award. He leaves behind an enduring legacy of scholarship, bringing engineering closer to the public and inspiring generations to see the world through an engineer's lens. Tributes to Henry Petrosky. Number 11, Carol Higgins Clark, a stalwart in mystery and a life of generosity. Carol Higgins Clark, a best-selling mystery author and actress, passed away at the age of 66 in Los Angeles after a courageous battle with cancer of the appendix on June 12th. She was a formidable writer, often collaborating with her mother, the legendary Mary Higgins Clark. Carol obtained her BA from Mount Holyoke College and studied acting at the Beverly Hills Playhouse. She showcased her acting prowess in films like A Cry in the Night and made appearances in renowned platforms such as New York's Carnegie Hall. Her literary accomplishments include over 15 solo books and several co-authored with her mother. Carol's talent and vibrant spirit were recognized with awards, including the University of Scranton's Distinguished Author Award in 2000, which she shared with her mother. Beyond her professional achievements, Carol was a fighter with an indomitable spirit. An incident in 2006, where a plane crashed into her apartment building, did not dampen her vivacious nature and sense of humor. In addition to her literary and acting career, Carol was deeply involved in philanthropic activities. She was a supporter of Project Angel Food, Catholic Charities, and ACPMP, an Appendix Cancer Research Foundation. 
Her commitment to helping others, her alma mater, and raising awareness about the disease she battled is a testament to her generous heart and noble character. Tributes to Carol Higgins Clark. Now we also honor the lives and legacies of notable people who have died in the past few years. Number 12, Frank Bonner, a beloved icon in American television comedy. Frank Bonner, celebrated for his endearing portrayal of Herb Tarlek, the charmingly tasteless sales manager on CBS sitcom WKRP in Cincinnati, passed away on June 16, 2021, at the age of 79, due to complications from Lewy body dementia. Bonner made his on-screen debut in the 1967 cult film The Equinox, A Journey into the Supernatural. He carved his niche with the character Herb Tarlek, clad in polyester and plaid, across four seasons and 88 episodes of WKRP in Cincinnati. He reprised his role in the new WKRP in Cincinnati from 1991 to 1993. Besides his acting, Bonner was also an accomplished television director, he directed episodes of iconic TV shows like Family Ties, Who's the Boss, and Saved by the Bell, The New Class. Notably, he directed 105 episodes of NBC's City Guys between 1997 and 2001. He is survived by his wife, four children, seven grandchildren, and one great-grandchild. Frank Bonner's legacy lies in his comedic prowess and ability to capture audiences through his memorable characters, especially Herb Tarlick and his extensive contributions as a TV director. His warm presence on and off the screen will be remembered fondly. Tributes to Frank Bonner. Number 13, Charles Webb, the unconventional mind behind The Graduate. Charles Webb, the unorthodox and critically acclaimed author of The Graduate, passed away on June 16, 2020, at the age of 81, due to a blood condition. Webb emerged as a literary force when he published The Graduate at the age of 24 in 1963. The novel, a deadpan satire rooted in his own background and college education, became a cultural phenomenon when adapted into an Academy Award-winning film in 1967 starring Dustin Hoffman and Anne Bancroft. Webb's narrative adeptly challenged materialism and societal norms through the character Benjamin Braddock. The film, though set in an earlier era, became emblematic of the rebellion of the 1960s. The novel eventually sold over a million copies, but Webb received a mere $20,000 for the film rights, and much of his work went unrecognized as the script borrowed heavily from his book. In addition to The Graduate, Webb penned several other novels, including Love, Roger, and The Marriage of a Young Stockbroker. His novel, New Cardiff, was adapted into the 2003 movie Hope Springs. In his personal life, Webb was an enigma, deliberately distancing himself from material wealth. He rejected an inheritance, donated royalties to charity, and lived a nomadic life with his wife, Eve Rudd, whom he met during his college years. Charles Webb's legacy as a masterful storyteller and critic of social conventions remains etched in literary and cinematic history, and his individualism continues to inspire. Tributes to Charles Webb. You can continue watching these videos about recent celebrity deaths in June on your screen. To keep yourself updated, you can turn on notifications.